You're listening to Arty Tune, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Schlich and today we dive into the unexpected and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind together um, with my reflections about the Irish singer and storyteller and goat herder of Cape Clear. Mm. It is Ed Harper. And um, yeah, it is uh, Ed Harper and and I do more for sure as well. I mean, so I will answer um, listener questions and I don't have a talk guest here today as well because um, uh, just just easy 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 excuse I'm too busy with my artwork and I try to focus currently a little bit about my, about my on my physically artwork instead instead doing too many promotions and if I have a talk guest I would like to, as well to promote this talk as because uh, as an as an appreciation that that I have this talk as you know I, I'm gonna do that always you know and it's for me it's it's a big big appreciation and it's 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 fun as well to to produce artwork getting inspired by this talk as so for instance like uh, by Ed Harper hi Ed I hope you're well I haven't seen you for ages I. Actually, oh, we had already another concept uh, in mind, but due to the lockdown, I couldn't visit him because he's living on Cape Clear. Ed is a blind goat herder of Cape Clear and a, a convener of West Cork people before profit. And he has raised goats on Cape Clear Island for more than 42 years. Cape Clear sits at the entrance to Roaring Water Bay in West Cork and is one of Ireland's larger inhabited islands. So if you want to visit Ed, but probably not now, but, but later, if, if, if everyone has a little bit more normalities, um, the, the Clare Goats Farm also has a small shop that sells goat ice cream, cottage cheese. It's an eco-friendly farm near Cape Clear Heritage Center, Church and Iceland walking trails. So the farm is situated uphill from the village and reachable by walking from the ferry boat. So that is uh, um, at Harper's place. And uh, we had in, 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 in the podcast talk, we, we philosophized about uh, Harper's life as a teacher in England before he came to Cape Clear, about his encounter with Cape Clear. And... Um, about the advantage to be blind and more far far more i mean you can go back to the episode 16 if you're new here in this podcast and there you will find uh, ed harper's story and he will sing as well a song in, in the third part of episode 16. uh you can actually it is on on um on youtube on attitude on my YouTube channel, uh, you can find, uh, I filmed it. It was quite, quite weird because it was outside of his farm due to the light and um, it started to rain. So we had to improvise a little bit, but dear listeners, this is fun. And this is the reason why I'm going to do this podcast because, um, um yeah it is no producer there who tells you what you have to do and what not and uh um you are your own boss so and eventually <laughs> it's not about making money it's it's about 
about networking. It's about introducing lovely artists, lovely humans, you know. I mean, especially in a time like this, uh, um, being in contact with other humans, you know, in a lockdown like this, because we all need that. We all need that. We, we not, we're not... We're not you're not born for living alone, you know. So, so, yeah. Um, I just see in my background it's quite untidy. So sorry for that. But you see, at, you see at the back as well. If you watch this podcast on Attitude on on YouTube, you see already my my green painting, which is still not finished. I'm still have to work on that. Uh, so sorry for for this this situation uh yeah it was it was great i mean it was great to 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 catch up with ed because that's a very special person i mean and if you imagine he came over to to cape clear and and um, he managed it 42 years to 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 raise a farm after he was lecturer in england you know because he was he was he was not really satisf satisfied to to stay in England, you know, and, and doing just his his lecturing job, you know. So that, that was it was really great. It was a great job, very inspiring. I was there for for a couple of days, and uh, I I remember I was suffering um, from 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 this goat farm because I'm allergic against goats and and. And horses, actually, the the protein of the hair, uh, cats and all that, you know. And um, but um, I had this antihistamine, and that, that was okay. You know? But it was it was a great, a lovely experience, you know. So I mean, even if you drive um, by ferry over to Cape Clear, it is not too expensive. I think it's 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 twenty euro back and forth, or maybe a little bit more. I don't know. But but it's 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 worth to to go over there, you know, so for a day, I don't know, um, they have a B&B &B as well, you can stay there overnight, um, Ed would, would be probably, probably uh, delighted to, to uh, for, for every visitor, ah, at this moment, so I, I would like to announce as well that Ed is, I think, still looking for, for somebody to, to help him as a volunteer on his farm, because, uh, um, he was just there now with his son, and uh, uh, I'm not sure if, there, if anybody is there now who was helping him. But he would appreciate that if somebody could stay there a little bit longer and, and help him uh, just just with, with with cleaning. I mean, it, it, clean, cleaning, uh, uh, get milking the, the 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 not the cows, the the goats. And uh, bring them in from in the evening and all that. It's a couple of works hours, not too much, and you can sleep over there. You get your food. I mean, I think it's money is not involved because um, it's it's a volunteering, but it is an adventure, you know. So, so if you really want to to be part of this adventure with Ed, you can um, you can write me at at info at altitude dot com or you're gonna you're gonna um look into my this description and you will find at harper's um contacts as well because i will put it in for sure yes yeah it was at uh that was that was really um quite an, an amazing encounter and uh I hope I can I can do that soon again. So app, I hope you're well and uh I see you soon. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. Yeah, thank you very much for support. Um I'm really delighted to have all this lovely listeners and uh it's already a little bit like a community like like a little family you know it's it's really nice to to know that you you have listeners and and somehow podcast friends from all over the world and uh yeah thanks again that's i appreciate that very much so p
people from Dallas, also from Dallas, from New Mexico, Sweden, Norwegen. I mean, I, I, I'm, I can go in here from the Russian Federation, from, from Martinique, Singapore, Turkey, Canada, Luxembourg, Iceland, uh, Uzbekistan, United Kingdom, Ireland, United States, Japan, Germany, Australia, Netherlands, Spain, France, China. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's great to have you on board, and um, we're gonna we're gonna make this thing here yeah, somehow. We're gonna we're gonna will survive all this <sighs> this glitch. Whatever we call it. I try to avoid too much. I mean, now summer, so it's, it's finger, fingers crossed that, that we're all getting better um, in the next month. And uh, yeah. Okay. I would like to continue with some, some reader questions, some listener questions, actually. And uh, it's actually from, from Petra, from Cologne, from Germany. Hi, Petra. <laughs> Girl, I laugh, and she uh, she's asking, "What's your background as an artist, and uh, what's your inspiration?" Yeah, Petra. Okay, I my inspiration. I mean, it was actually. I mean, I started my background is I started uh, my musical background is I started with learning guitar, um, and I was um, eleven at the high school. And I can remember uh, my music teacher. He has as well very long hair, you know, so so so, so like a hippie, you know. So <laughs> I see just my hair. So I, I, guys, I, do it. I think I have to cut them. You know? so, so I wear them open today, but not not really not anymore. But I, I'm I gonna get already dread lockdowns, lockdown dreads, you know. So. Um, yeah, so he had very long hair, and he was started starting with us or, 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 or teaching us classic guitar, you know. And I don't know. So I had two or three lessons, and I, I didn't continue with that anymore. I don't know why. I was I was a I was a lazy fucker, probably. I was a lazy fucker. Um, so I stopped that at the high school and started again. Um, was thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> Whether I remember that a friend of my father, he was he was playing, he was a guitar player, um, an entertainer in 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 pubs, and he was learning me a couple of couple of uh, 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 reps and all that, and and as it started that I had to to remind all this in my head C D E uh, e F G H and then, and all that you know so and, and I can I can I mean what I know now is I'm suffering somehow a little bit from 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 some spectrum which spectrum it is so, so I, I just can suspect or guess I don't know it is uh, if it is ADS ADLS or uh, uh, a mix of Asperger or autism uh, I don't know and I don't want to know it anymore as well. Uh, however, as I had to start to learn that, and I'm very bad in in in, in learning things, if um if I have to learn it under pressure, I stopped that again as well. With fourteen, I lost interest again. So that was my music career for a while, you know, until I was twenty thir twenty three years, and um, I started as a as a singer as a frontman in in a band called Paradise X Peace Pack. Paradise X Peace Pack. It was punk rock. It was very punky, and, and, and it was it was it was great, you know. So I and I was already I did my clothes on my own. I used to like fashion. That's actually why I now where, where I put everything together. I mean, fashion, art, music, uh, video installations, uh, uh, you name it. I mean, uh, that's the, I appreciate that as well that we live now. In such interesting times where you can create um, such an eclectic uh, amount of artwork, you know, so no, that's great. So, but that that was actually my my beginning of of of, of my musical my background. So I still didn't play guitar, and I've learned actually then again to play guitar as I, as I used to be 
to be uh, in, in in Panama for 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 three months. Uh, I've, I've learned to play it better, you know, far more better. And I start to to write songs than than in Middle America for three months. Um, was playing guitar, you know. I mean, I might think about that. To maybe I should do a podcast just about my adventures in in South America, in Panama and Costa Rica. But that's another thing. I'm not now. Um, but I've learned really playing the guitar for at least for myself as a singer songwriter. So, so, so I created my songs, and uh, as I came back, I was sitting in the park with my guitar and my my sketchbook, and I wrote my songs. And and then I was playing the songs later on in a cafe, you know. So, but I was already in my thirties, and then I became a contract with a with a record company, and they produced uh, seven songs with me. Um, and I was supposed actually uh, to 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 start with thirty three, a huge career as singer songwriter, rock and roll or whatever, but then I became my tinnitus, and uh, Petra, I stopped then making music and started started script writing for the television. With the age of. Uh, 36 I think 35 36 because I thought this this would be for me something where I really can relax you know so I didn't want to to continue with my tinnitus to be a, a rock star you know so but that was that was my mu musician career but before that I started as well I was 20 as DJ um I started already my cartoons and my 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 first illustrations, you know, for for Kölner Stadtanzeiger, which is a German newspaper. I did cartoons and uh, illustrations for a couple of books, but uh, um, I never was so keen to uh, my self esteem in regarding being an artist came quite late, you know. I mean, it was not really in, in my in my teenager years, you know, it came it came in my trends in my trends, and sometimes it's very difficult if you're already in your trends to, to build up your career somehow. So, I studied actually 2012 visual art. So that came quite late. No, huh? that means. Uh, uh, so I was a long time. I mean, like I say, I did illustrations this and that and da, 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 da. so i had my success somehow but but it was not it was not that i was already a visual artist so i did everything i did music and this and that and clothes and uh, for me was was the combination of everything um that was life so 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 creativity was in actually the 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 the, the basement of 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 my vision you know of of my the source of of my motivation why I would like to live, you know. So it was never ever uh, being a part of mass productions or whatever, you know. And that I still I have to remind myself um, uh, because it is still I can't. Uh, for me, for me being 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 part of mass productions is uh, it's very difficult. I mean, I'm being advertising for 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 my for my for my web shop, for instance. It, which is actually not a shop. Which is actually I consider it as a gallery, where where I where I gonna where I gonna sell some of my artworks that that you guys can buy it, which uh, for 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 a reasonable price. You know, I mean, I still have to set up set up my some artwork, and then you can buy it probably then as as a poster. Also, but it's still it's still a lot a lot to do. But yeah, however, it is it is a sort of it already goes then into i still have to ask myself is it which, which direction does it go is it already mass production you know so now so I, I have i have to be quite critic towards this but otherwise uh, on the other hand if i'm not gonna go in this direction i um i probably i die as a poor fucker <laughs> which i don't mind as well um yeah, so, uh, so all this Petra uh, came together. So it was it was a mix, and and then then with forty, I I, I mean I did my, I, I wrote I wrote for for 
eventually for 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 the German television. Um, Eclectic script writing was it was storytelling. I, I um, developed storyteller storytelling. No, hang on. I, I developed characters, shows, and and I did movie development as well. And and plots. I mean storytelling exposés, ten pages exposés. It was with deadlines and everything. So I used to work for three years. I think was it for for a German television from 36 to almost 40 before I went over to Ireland. And uh, at this time, it was quite quite uh, pushy because because you work always with deadlines in, as, 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 an, as an author, as a script writer for the television. That means they give you a phone call and they ask you, can, can you write us a, um, an expose about a mammoth and, 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 and a woman? And as a journalist who uh, set a mammoth free, and the kind, the way you should write it is a thriller. And I said as well, yeah, should, well, I can do that, you know. So, but I had just the time for ten days. It means it, in ten days you have to, one has to create uh, a ten pages expose, and uh, and then you have to rewrite it maybe in one or two days, and that's that's the deadline, you know. So the money is good, but it's quite a, a very very tough job so uh, I moved over with 40 to Ireland and uh, five years rebuilt an old cottage after that uh, 2008 uh, 2010 I went back to school here in Ireland and did uh, level 5 FITEC level 5 and 6 in Skibberine arts craft and design professional arts praxis um, 2012 I went back to to the college here on Shocking Island, which is great, and I might do sometimes as well a special podcast about that. So, guys, if you're really if you're interested in in, in studying art, uh, Shocking is perfect for that. It's a very advanced course, and very critical thinking based, uh, which I like as well a lot. And uh, for me, it was very good to to, to learn better English, and, and I really found a lot of people on eye level. Which was nice. So that was a, a little, a little, a little bit, um, little talk about my about my background. I hope it gives you an idea, Petra. However, if you have more questions, don't hesitate actually to to come back to me. I don't mind, and I would like to thank again everyone here. Um, Dear listeners, uh, I really appreciate the time with you together and um, I know that we all will get into better times soon as well, you know. Guys, stay cool all together, stay lovely, love each other, um, find understanding for everyone uh, treat people like you want to be treated and uh, mm, I think I would say this is um, enough for this podcast if you guys really want to support me uh, go to my website get a merch or just if you don't have the money share my podcast to other people uh, like it or whatever you know i mean or or just listen that's good as well it's nice and if you really if you really have an idea uh, write me to info at attitude.com and um give me suggestions give me as well suggestions for 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 design ideas go to my uh, instagram page it is at Dutchlich on Instagram or at Attitude as well on Instagram or um, at I Love West Cork Artists where I'm the administrator on Instagram as well or on Facebook too. Friends, I have to find here my my button and I say goodbye for this time and have a lovely day. Wow. Take care. Bye-bye.
You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion and design podcast. Artitude, never so close again. Ah! That was too close.